in the last video, we were talking about down payments. That's where you put money down uh, towards the loan or that money you have plus the loan amount to get the item, the asset you want. And we talked about with houses, they want 20% down. So if I borrow $100,000 for a house, they're going to want $20,000 down. Vehicles, you can and you don't have to if you don't want to or if you don't have the money for a down payment it used to be they really wanted you to now lots of banks do zero down if you hear zero down that means no money down for an auto loan but like i said um the the longer the loan you take out the more money you borrow the longer you take to pay it back the higher the interest you're going to pay back or the more interest you're going to pay back excuse me so it, it is in your best interest to have money down on whatever you're doing, a vehicle or even or a house. And it's going to be $1,000 for a vehicle. If you're borrowing 10 and you have a $1,000 down payment, that $1,000 is huge. It uh, definitely will take time off of how long it takes you to pay it back. And the longer you, like I said, the longer you pay back a loan, more interest you got to pay. You can see here things that they look at for giving you loans. I already hit on this in the first video credit history, collateral and assets. Basically here is if you can't make your payments and you default and stop paying, they'll come take your house or your car or whatever it is that you use as collateral. Some things you should really look at is the loan length. Loan length are done in months. So you have a 12 month loan, 24 month loan, 36, 48, 60, and then 72. And I think they even do 84 ones now, okay? Um, usually the longer the loan length, so if you have a 60 month loan, which is five years, that payment's going to be smaller compared to a 36 month loan, which are three years. Okay. Person with a 36 month loan is going to have a higher payment and pay less back in interest over that period of time compared to a person with 60 month loan who's going to pay less per month, but over five years is going to pay more back in interest. Um, and then after this, we're going to get into some other types of credit here. You have line of credit. Um, is a type of short-term credit a lender can offer that includes maximum amount of credit. Okay. And basically, um, it's like a loan, but you're already pre-approved. So banks offer this to customers or businesses. So let's say like right now I get in a pinch and I can't make my payroll next week because we're closed down of the COVID deal, but I have a line of credit with my bank. Basically, it's an approved amount of money I can borrow that I already have waiting in my accounts that if I need it, I can get it in a pinch or an emergency. This would be an emergency now, and I want to pay my employees. So I could just take that money out from the bank. I have to pay it back, usually low interest rate, low risk, um, and um, pay my employees, but I would have to pay the amount back that I borrowed from the bank. That would be a line of credit. Very, very similar to a loan. Usually they have you fill out an application, personal information. Okay. So you should look at that one. Uh, one thing I want to talk about next is offering credit to your customers. So you can allow people to come in and charge. So basically buy now, pay later. So as a small business, when should you offer credit to your customers? Um, and if you look at D, this is what you want to do right here. You want to do it to loyal customers, um, customers that pay their bills on time, valuable customers, big accounts, um, people that you can trust. You just don't want somebody coming in, walking off the street that you have no clue who they, who they are and set up. let them set up a charge account at your business where they can take um, – products or services and then pay you later and maybe you never see them again okay and you don't want to have too many people um, charging to you you want good cash flow in your business you want money in the cash register you want money coming in and out through the doors and uh, you don't want to let everybody just charge so don't let everybody charge um, take it seriously um, that could really hurt your business. Remember, you need to have money on hand to pay the bills and uh, not have to wait 30 days to get it. So uh, make sure you look at D for things that you would look for in customers to being able to charge. Okay, as we go on, um, an installment is basically a, is considered another word for payment. Uh, you hear that with credit cards and installment payment. It, 